Hey girly pops, welcome back. My name is Haley Pham. Welcome back to my chan. Hello. Today's video is so freaking fun. I want to start a new series on my channel where I do something out of my comfort zone, out of the norm for a week at a time to see if it can broaden my horizons, maybe change my style. It's all really part of finding myself as a human being now that I'm 18 years old and just having a little mini life crisis. These are the things that are fun and kind of helpful, honestly. If you guys follow my vlog channel, you would know I went through this makeup obsession phase and I just wanted to buy all the makeup under the sun and put it on my face. So that is the time that I came up with this idea, which was wearing rainbow eyeshadow for a week. But Rachel Cantu did this video a while back where she wore rainbow eyeshadow for a week to school. That video was so cool. I love that video. I will link it down below. This video is completely inspired by hers. She's an actual like makeup beauty guru. So all of her makeup looks were so pretty. So I honestly tried watching that video to like see some tutorials on it, but as you will see in this video, it just didn't go to plan. I have footage of me trying to do a makeup look for every single color. Some of them were very successful and some of them not so much. So I'm super excited to show you my entire week. But first, I wanna say a big fat thank you to HelloFresh for partnering with me on this video. They have been such a big component of helping me with my health and fitness journey. HelloFresh is now $6.99 per serving, which we all know is much cheaper than the fast food that I was buying for every meal. I want y'all to take advantage of HelloFresh's special offer for 2019, you can get a total of $80 off with eight free meals in your first month if you go to HelloFresh and enter code HaleyFam80. HaleyFam80! Personally, I grew up on fast food and that made grocery stores and cooking very foreign to me and luckily HelloFresh takes all of that stress out of the way for you. Today, I made the cherry balsamic pork chops. HelloFresh did all of the stressful things for me, like the planning, shopping, and prepping, so all I had to do was focus on the new healthy me. Another reason why I always avoided cooking was because I felt like it took so long. But with HelloFresh, I did zero time planning or going to the grocery store so I could focus on things that I actually love doing like video making and spending time with my family. You can impress yourself and your family with delicious new recipes that quite honestly, you would probably never make without HelloFresh. Link in description, you're welcome. So before I actually got into wearing rainbow eyeshadow, I had to go out and buy some. And this week was a very odd week to be filming this because I didn't realize it at the time, but in retrospect, I was having a terrible week. My mental health was just kind of deteriorating as you can probably tell. I was being very snappy. I looked kind of annoyed and honestly I was just being kind of crippled by my social anxiety this week especially this first day when I had to go out and buy the rainbow eyeshadow. I invited my friend Noah to come out with me and do that. It's so funny how my mood that week just really shows in videos so if you notice anything off that is why. I'm sorry about it. I didn't realize I was doing it but there it was. I swear my next car needs to have like tan interior or something because my black hair just blends right in with this and it looks not great. Alrighty, so I am here to find rainbow eyeshadows. This is gonna be incredibly difficult because the types of eyeshadows I want are strictly like the brightest of the bright and I do not have access to a James Charles palette right now. So we're just gonna go hunt for them individually. I also invited my friend Noah because I have too much social anxiety to go shopping by myself and I wish I was just saying that to be relatable. I actually could not get myself to leave the house by myself. But don't worry, I scheduled my first ever therapy appointment on Wednesday. Woo! Oh my gosh, does that mean I have to wear eyeshadow to her appointment? I don't wanna do that. See, that's literally why I'm going to her, so I can get rid of that. So I can wear eyeshadow in public and not feel scared. I don't like drawing attention to myself. That's why I have social anxiety. I don't like people looking at me. This is literally a challenge for me because I hate for people to look at me. And bright eyeshadow means that people are gonna look at me, so. <clears throat> Thank you for just making direct eye contact with me. And that was very great for me. Oh no. Okay, let me go shopping for these things. Hello. Hey. We're wearing the same outfit. Oh wait, kind of. to the shoes. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Thanks for coming with me. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gone anything from that. Red day. So this is a makeup look that I didn't actually do for this weekly challenge, but it is something that probably sparked the fire. I released a limited edition crew neck for Valentine's Day that said Lonely Pop on it. It was one of my favorite designs, but I actually made it super, super, super limited edition. And I wanted to do a really cool photo shoot for it. So 
I did this red makeup look with hearts on my face. So that was a lot of fun, but I didn't get to film any of the makeup look thing because I was just so focused on the whole kind of, you know, promotion for it. I don't know, okay? Just didn't know it was gonna be part of this video, but that was red day. <laughs> And then Orange Day. Orange Day. This was the first actual day that I was filming in this challenge. And guess what? I lost the footage of me putting on orange makeup, but I do have the clips of me updating y'all on how it felt to be wearing orange makeup for an entire day. Update of day orange. I feel like this makeup look looks so ugly. I went to Chick-fil-A and I talked to someone to order my food and I kind of even forgot that I was wearing makeup So that's good. I didn't think about it But now I want to like actually not go through a drive through and actually get out of my car and now I'm scared like I like when my orange shirt is just peeking out and then you can kind of tell like what I was going for But without it, it just kind of looks I don't know It's not as bright as I thought it would be like the lipstick and the blush matches and then the eyes like the shape of the eyeshadow is good But it's just not as bright as I thought it would be and that's just kind of disappointing And now I feel like I look like a rusty little pumpkin I can't wait for yellow though. I think I'll just do yellow like in the inner corners because this was too dark Okay, I I made myself go to the place to get my drink. I did it and I felt pretty confident. But then sometimes I'll like look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my gosh, I look like I have an eye infection. And then sometimes I'm like, ooh, I look, I look, I was gonna say fleek. Are we in 2015? So I don't know how I feel about this eyeshadow makeup look and colors and eyeshadow. I just don't know, guys. I don't know. Yeah, so in conclusion, I was clearly very confused on whether I liked it or not. That makeup was in this video that I posted and I got a lot of comments saying you guys loved my makeup. So, I mean, I guess it was kind of good. I think it made me look a little bit pale and dead because I don't know, it just looks like I looked unhealthy or something. I don't know. And then we get into yellow day. <laughs> Hey girly pops, who's ready for the yellow day? Not me because my mom called me chubby two seconds ago and then I lost all motivation for the entire day. Anyways. All right, let's just jump into it. This is what I want to look like, but my yellow eyeshadow is quite different there, so we're just going to have to wing it, which is what I've been doing. So for yellow day, I thought I was going to do a nice inner corner look like Kylie Jenner, but turns out my eyeshadow is a completely different color and it just looks like trash on me. So let's just freaking dig in and try to recreate that Kylie Jenner look. Oh boy, I can already tell yellow eyeshadow is difficult. Um, this is definitely interesting. If I thought I had an eye infection yesterday, it really looks like I have one now. I don't know about this. Um. 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 I don't know if I like that. I look like a bird. <laughs> what is going on? Where do I go from here? You know, like, what do I do now? I'm so good. <laughs> At this point, I should just do this because that actually looks like the color of my eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> From afar, it kind of looks cool. Like, oh, I didn't, what's in the inner, I didn't see that there, but it's not cool. Changed plans and something beautiful happened. I'm just gonna do something and then come back and show you what I did. Okay, I'm back. I ended up doing yellow eyeshadow all over the lid. It's just one color and then highlight in the inner corner and winged eyeliner and honestly, I am not mad at it. I mean, it's definitely different. So I put on my family sweatshirt, which if you didn't know, it's my freaking merch family, but it is not, oh, oh no. It is not the same color and it kind of makes it look off because this is like yellow. It's like a peach yellow orangey. So I'm going to put on my Brandy Melville honey crew neck. And even this is like not the same color, but it doesn't clash as much. Okay. I actually really like this, especially with the winged eyeliner. I dig it. Yellow day was so 
so fun. Who would have thought yellow eyeshadow would be something that me, who's not a makeup guru, could actually figure out how to pull off. Green day. I specifically remember this day. I had to wake up and do a photo shoot with my bestie, Addie Rock. She was gonna be taking my pictures and I knew I was going to be posting it for a brand and I wanted it to look just amazing. So I put a lot of pressure on myself to not mess up this day. I had to wake up early. I didn't get much sleep that last night, but I just knew I had to pull off this makeup look with green eyeshadow. <laughs> Welcome to Green Day. I already did my makeup because I have a photo shoot this morning and I'm in a rush. I did a very subtle green eye makeup look. I only did this beautiful little green color right here on my inner corners because the other green did not match my dress. So yeah, I'm gonna go photo shoot in this and I'll show you guys the pictures. And I really, really, really like this eye makeup look. Like, really like it. Here are some of the final pictures that we took. It turned out great. This was one of my favorite looks that I did. This makeup was also at the beginning of this video and I matched it with a green hat. I got a lot of comments saying that they loved the matching green hat with my green eyeshadow and I love the inner corner look, but what I'm starting to learn is that if you wanna do an inner corner look, it's gotta be a light eyeshadow. It cannot be something dark. This look was so cute because it just, it wasn't fully green, but it was a pop in the corner and then bronzer on the crease and it was just so fun. I just loved that look. I felt so cool doing all these photo shoots. I felt like I was like an editorial creative mind photographer, Instagram blogger for real. And it felt good. Ahaha. Blue day. So I took a break from this challenge because well, I'm a failure. This was my first ever week challenge and you're supposed to just do it consecutively, but I just, I don't even remember. I think Mai came in town and we were doing a bunch of collabs and I was like, I just cannot wear this eyeshadow in these videos. I just can't do it. So I finally got back around to trying to do blue eyeshadow and well, you can just see what happened. <laughs> Hey girly pops, it is blue day and it has been quite, it's been like a week since the last time I filmed this, so it's not a consecutive week that I've been doing this because quite honestly, part of the challenge is that the eyeshadow interferes with your life and it quite definitely has. There are just certain places like church where I don't wanna be wearing a full blue eyeshadow look. So it is actually Super Bowl Sunday as I'm filming this and I thought this would be a great item to wear for my matching blue eye look. Link in description. <laughs> I have two blue colors that we can use today. So let's go for it, I guess. Jeez, homie is pigmented. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Not another day failed, please. Not another day. This brush is terrible. Wow, that's just gorgeous, just gorgeous. <laughs> My gosh, this is terrible. Oh, jeez. Now that is good. That is great. <laughs> really trying to figure out how I'm gonna solve this problem. Kind of looks cool. Editorial. I think blue eyeshadow just really reminds me too much of like being 10 and playing with blue eyeliner So it's just not really like the best of looks for me or anyone Oh gosh Another day another challenge fail ladies and gentlemen. I am NOT wearing this for Super Bowl Sunday That just looks absolutely disgusting quite honestly, so I'm gonna take it off I took a picture of it for the thumbnail It doesn't even look good for the thumbnail, but yeah challenge failed blue eyeshadow just it's probably hard to pull off Even when you're a professional, so I can't imagine me trying to pull it off, you know Oh, it's kind of cute when it's just like a tiny little bit so yeah, I never wore blue eyeshadow for a day because it was absolute trash. I don't know if I just bought terrible colors, but I couldn't even find any sort of makeup tutorial that would make it look good. I'm not gonna blame it on them. I just quite honestly had no idea what I was doing and it looked terrible and I just didn't wanna go out like that, so I didn't. And that brings us to our last day of the challenge, the purple day. I had just flown to Florida. I think it was like right as the day I landed. We went to Forever 21. I got a lavender crop top to go with this look and then I did this. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's purple day. Brian, if you're gonna stand there, you have to be in it. I should never ask. It it's is. more like a lavender. It's the best I can. I mean, it's it's purple. It's completely purple, everyone. It is my nice last Nice safe, right? It is my last day of my challenge. Can you make sure the mic was on? Yeah, it was. I don't know how to do purple eyeshadow. I don't know how I was so successful within the first few days of this challenge, but. <laughs> Brian, come react to my makeup. <clears throat> Oh my god! 
It looks good. That's better than I expected. No lie. Same. It doesn't look that bad. It actually doesn't. It doesn't it look like matches. preposterous or anything. Preposterous. What? I'm not trying to be boastful. Preposterous? That is it! I did it. I did the challenge. I haven't been wanting to wear makeup, so doing this was uh, difficult for me, but this actually matches my shirt, which is crazy. It's actually kind of pretty. I like it. I look like a little fairy. It looks cute. You look pretty. Do I have to go to the gym like this? Yeah. Is that the challenge? Yes. It's oh, so now nice I just look here. like a child. All right, guys, that is it for my challenge. So, update. I'm going to the gym now, and I need makeup wipes to take off this purple eyeshadow, and Ryan doesn't have any, and I didn't pack any because I usually don't wear eyeshadow, so. Ryan Yero has claimed to have some makeup wipes. I cannot wait to see what he pulls out. These are gloves. I have a sh** in an aquaphor if you need some. What's aquaphor? Like a lot. Is that moisturizer? Yeah. I can get it off of moisturizer. Thank you. Here. No, 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 no. Here, just, just, like just the one, just the okay. one. Purple day was actually so cute. I feel like I look like a little fairy, but in conclusion, nothing could really beat my red, orange, or yellow day, or green day. Really, the first four days were so strong, and then blue and purple, maybe it was just blue that I really ultimately failed. I also tried doing a pink day. Oh, that was so bad. It looked like I had pink eyed. Not a good look. Overall, this challenge was so, so fun. I loved the red concept I did for my Lonely Pop merch. That was super fun. That was red eyeliner. It completely ruined my eyelash extensions, but I didn't care. Hair. It looked so pretty and so fun and so good in the pictures and I still love those pictures to this day Green day also made for a great photo shoot I feel like yellow and orange day looked pretty good as well as for the rest I'm gonna need some practice in the eyeshadow department But for someone who never uses eyeshadow I feel like I pulled this off pretty well and I'm very surprised Maybe I do have some talent just hidden within me that I just haven't allowed myself to let flourish yet So I'm thankful for this challenge for revealing that to me. Let me know if you guys liked these weekly challenges and what I should do next. I already have a bunch planned, but let me know if you guys have any ideas and I will consider them. I have a vlog channel that I've been posting on like three times a week. If you saw in this video, I mentioned that I went to therapy for the first time and that is a story time, story time coming soon to my vlog channel because it was definitely interesting. Today I'm actually going to Cody Ko and Noelle Miller's little tour show thing. It's probably not little. That was insulting. I'm sorry. It's probably gonna be huge and really awesome, but I'm going to that for Valentine's Day. So if you want to see that vlog and I'm gonna review his show, just kidding. I can't really do that because if it's bad, I'm probably not gonna tell you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you that. I'm going to playlist live. I just... This is just me trying to convey to you that I have super awesome vlogs on my vlog channel coming soon. I also have an Instagram and a Twitter if you'd like to follow me. I tweet a lot about Ariana Grande and I'm not very sorry about it. Okay, awesome. I will see you guys next Fam Friday or somewhere else on the internet. I love you so much. God bless girly pops.